Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today's topic is about a dental clinic, how to establish and how to maintain a dental clinic. So establishing and maintaining a dental office. So basically its definition is practice management. How do we practice? will be managed it is defined as the organization administration and direction of a professional practice in a style that facilitates quality client care efficient use of time and personal reduce stress to staff and financial profitability so this is a definition it says that proper organization administration and direction of professional practice in such a way that there is efficient use of time and personal reduce stress to staff and there is profit so what are the factors to be considered before starting a dental clinic or establishing a dental practice so we need to think about the place location building financial assistance, equipments and instruments and designing of dental office. So what is the importance of place? You should think about the number of dentists practicing in that area and whether it is town or countryside, surrounded by many villages, it is good transport facility or not. In cities, we should think of uh, shopping complex areas or the part of the city which attracts more people. And location close to government offices corporate and business houses as an advantage that employees can avail facilities in residential areas as another advantage is like mothers and children would visit and always keep safety in mind where ladies can come without fear that is the importance of place so sometimes question might ask what is the importance of place and location so last time it was asked like that so importance of location and uh, place of the dental clinic so commonly asked question establishing a dental practice so it is an important chapter so let's see what is the importance of building so building should always be well ventilated have proper water and drainage system with a proper power connection and if it is on the ground floor with parking facility for both dentist and patients would be better and always select place where more area is available because we may have future expansion plans and we can also do a little bit of alteration at home and do practice at home and always to have a on dental office or a dental clinic rather than taking it on rent regarding financial assistance uh, nowadays we get uh, loans from banks private sectors and uh, state financial corporations to establish a career for a new graduate so new graduates can always take up loan from financial government or a private firm so how to design a dental clinic so always we should think of functional aesthetic and utility value so always incorporate spacious waiting area work area and dental chair x-ray room lab and restroom furniture should be durable and aesthetic there should be always soundproofing because consideration pediatric dental office buffering the noise from reception area and placement of each electrical equipment should be considered while designing electrical connection uh, and positioning of dental chair, wash basin, inlet and outlet of water drainage should be uh, very uh, carefully taken because once it is set, uh, it is very difficult to um, uh, alter its positions. Then floors and walls should be designed considering aesthetic and avoidance of dust accumulation. Work area with sufficient space for dental chair and supine position. Separate x-ray room with lead barriers would be fine. Uh, separate chamber for autoclave and sterilization compressor and generator should be kept as far as from the dental office 
uh, always try to keep insurance but uh, in our country it is not at all possible there is no dental insurance existing so we know how dental chairs and how to keep a dental chair what are the dental chair parts and also i'm not going in detail about it dental chair and dental stools and designing a dental office or dental clinic so equipments and instruments should have basic instruments to run the clinic and we can select from a wide uh, varieties of brands we have local brands and international brands we should give uh, importance to a reputation of the company because we need to have uh, after sale services and always use autoclaved instruments and types of practices like solo practices the dentist uh, manages all types of cases group practices like dentist trained in different specialties like interrondist, periodontist, prosthodontist, periodontist all working in same office uh, most of the people are doing solo practices with visiting specialists like single dentist manages his cases but all the specialists will call when cases arrives so how to manage the personnel so always we should have a good communication with regular staff meeting and encourage participation full-time receptionist and dental assistant should be there and uh, the dental team should be warm empathetic and good personality always should have a good business association with a good dental lab just like dental care dental lab because it delivers work in time there should be professionalism because we are keeping uh, dates for our appointments so postponing the appointments would uh, create a negative impression with our patients and good salaries and benefits for the working dentist for good job satisfaction so patient sources from family friends referral uh, referral by doctors and dentists referral by the already seen patients so how do we manage patient it is like a good communication skill always uh, dentistry is not done by hands it is done by mouth so good communication is first and foremost thing we should have in dentistry we should a uh, patient to ensure quality oral health services and motivation and keep a appointment diary for time management clinic should open much before schedule appointments to allow the autoclave and sterilization if you are giving appointments at 10 o'clock clinic should be opened at 8 8 30 and keep all the sterilization other basic works explain about everything to patients diagnosis investigation treatment plans cost of treatment and payment modes and uh, after care extraction post uh, instructions also should be given very uh, clearly and how to maintain indenture and other educational uh, in uh, written format so this is another short note which is frequently asked that is how to uh, do record maintenance in a dental office so maintaining uh, records is a very critical part because it has a legal medical legal purpose record should be systematically maintained some people keep written records that is they have case files for each patient so each patient's data will be recorded like case history dental and periodontal shots informed consent such as some people have non-dental records like dental photographs, radiographs and cephalometric records. So both written records and non-written records uh, can be stored for each patient. And receptionists should maintain a book for accounts, bills, purchase or records and instrument equipments. But nowadays all these uh, papers and uh, other things are replaced by dental softwares. We have very good softwares which can uh, do all these procedures all uh, data storage we have because the keeping uh, papers uh, for each patient would uh, lose a lot of space in our uh, storage uh, cupboard or any other place where we are planning to keep this file system but a laptop would do or uh, would reduce the entire this space and we can store up to uh, many uh, patients like hundreds thousand and lakhs of patients data can be stored in softwares or a computer so nowadays computers are very common in dentistry because of the ease of uh, retrieval of data and many other advantages compared to the file system that is the paper system so this is an important question that is how to manage uh, record maintenance in a dental office 
and accounting and other financial aspects like uh, we need to uh, have a, a patient record with fees charged we need to inform it prior and there should be a tax uh, filing and factors influencing dental practices like legal each dentist must respect and be well aware of the laws because we are supposed to follow the dentist act and dentist law and ethical we need to have the ethical duties that is moral responsibility towards patients and personal we need to have a good physical health and mental health and we need to have vacation from work recreation environment social activities to provide a long uh, a good mental health over a long period of uh, our work so what is economics economics is a study that concerns the relation between workers and their energy and environment so in dentistry there is another topic so in dentistry it concerns with unnecessary movement and wasted energy saving time and lessening fatigue so because it is physically demanding profession managing or arranging or keeping the instruments or keeping the uh, equipments and arranging the rental offices so that the least energy of the dentist is wasted for unnecessary things so if we are haphazardly keeping the instrument and we are not properly uh, keeping the equipments there is a lot of stress creation inside it and there will be a lot of mental and physical stress will be created on the people who are working inside it so standing for longer period will cause varicose veins and musculoskeletal system consideration should start from positioning of dental chair in relation to door and patient path another parameter is entrance of light position base cabinet should have tops at comfortable height for dentist to work so the idea of ergonomics is nothing but the dental clinic in such a way that it gives no unwanted stress for the patient so all the equipments lighting the sound system the instruments everything should be perfect harmonious uh, relation with the environment so that he can do the work maximum uh, it can offer maximum productivity for a patient what are the hazards hazards uh, hazards like uh, mercury postural problem electrical x-rays infections so these are the hazards which are seen so the most common questions asked are one is economics what is economics then this record maintenance and uh, the position mm, and the location and uh, placing of a dental clinic and maybe this might be asked for a short essay that is mm, dental practice management or establishing a, and maintaining a dental clinic or a dental office okay so it is uh, a very important chapter Okay, so I'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more. Thank you.